Hey, hey, an anime here with Love All Play and Fanfare of Adolescence Episode 2 Reviews. Love All Play's second episode brings us into what a typical practice is like at Yokohama Minato High School, although at a quote unquote lighter pace. Coach Jin challenges the young squad's skills at knocking over cylinder tubes with the shuttlecock in a two minute time limit. He asks Yusa to demonstrate what needs to be done, and yet again we see his rotten attitude on display, telling the potential new members that they won't be able to accomplish what he can. I have two comments on this scene. One, I really hope that Yusa's attitude towards them has validity to it. Maybe he was treated that way when he started and it made him a better athlete for it, or maybe his home life is a struggle and he brings it with him to the gym. Either way, I just hope he isn't a genuinely arrogant, crappy sort of guy, because it's hard to like a teammate like that no matter how good they are. And my second comment is more of a critique on the coach. I don't understand why he would let you to talk to them like that. I would want my athletes to motivate my prospective talent, not belittle them. But that could be me looking into it too deeply. Anyway, the practice and post-practice gives us a lot of information about the characters. Specifically, Sakaki, who admits to Misishima that he desires, almost craves to play with him as a doubles partner. And we learn Matsuda is from Shanghai, doesn't do groups, and is the loner of the five. We get a tender moment later on between Misushima and his two middle school friends who talk about their days playing badminton and how they will continue to chase their dreams. Moments like these between the three old friends and between the group of new friends are what keep me hanging on to the series and what I enjoy about it. The conversations, the playfulness, the jokes really make it feel like a group of young teens hanging out and living life. My major critique is that again we don't see a lot of badminton, but maybe this series is going to be focused more on the relationships of the characters and not so much the sport itself. Regardless, the verdict, keep on watching it. Now for fanfare of adolescence. We have the new students in the thick of things practicing and learning what it takes to become a jockey. And Chitako, a woman who is doing a documentary on the new class, much to Arimura's chagrin and the other students' delight. The dynamic between Arimura and her is interesting because we know that she is working with the Madam Chairman from the previous episode, and she lays it to Arimura that the band needs to be compensated for any loss of sales because of his departure. I like that this introduces some background conflict or struggle that Arimura will have to face later on. We get an interesting meeting between Arimura and the famous jockey that everyone talks about. It was reminiscent of Love All Play. Arimura meets an idol, but he's very cold towards him, telling him to get out because amateurs aren't allowed in that area of the building, and he makes it a point to bring up that amateurs don't make money. Again, this is someone who is good at what they do, who is idolized by a younger group, yet doesn't do anything to try and inspire. After this, we are able to witness the horse race that everyone came to see. I'll be honest, I would have rather just listened to it the way Kazanami listened to it uh, the last year's race because the CGI isn't to my taste. I understand drawing out horse sequences is time consuming, but the weak CGI takes me out of the moment. I'm still enjoying the interactions between the students, but unlike Love All Play, I don't get much personality from anyone in this group, aside from maybe Arimura and Kazanami. An example being uh, Shimotsuki suggests they bet on the race. And like, is it lust for money really going to be all the only female character's personality is about? And then of course we did get an interesting scene in the bathhouse, which I thought was funny since it showed Arimura's shock and embarrassment and just a little humor and personality between the group. My verdict on this one, I'm going to follow the three episode rule. I won't say this episode was better or worse than the first, but it made me think that maybe I like it more for the art than the story. So check it out and then let me know what you thought about this episode and the Love All Play episode. Also, it feels good when you like and subscribe. I'm an anime, and I'm out. Anime.